Hey everyone, Chris here. We have another episode of Flea Market Madness. We're here at the Santa Clarita Flea Market. We're gonna see if we can find any treasures. If you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely go down there and click the subscribe button. If you wanna to learn to earn more on eBay, we're gonna go look for treasures. I have 30 years of experience in reselling, so one of the major things about going to a flea market is having the knowledge base of things to look out for because everyone's looking for video games. Everyone is looking for collectibles, but there's lots of other things that could be found, hidden treasures, and that's what this video and this channel is all about. So if you're not subscribed, go down there and click the subscribe button. Let's go see if we can find some treasures. Welcome back to another Flea Market Madness. It was very windy today. Stuff was blowing all over the place, and as you can see here, as we walk through this very nice entrance, uh, the ladies over there on the right were trying to anchor down their things that were blown away and of course California flea markets mean tools on the floor uh, if you ever seen these videos you know that tools are gonna definitely be on the floor and here we got some uh, belt buckles I look for some of the really older ones for that kind of things those are definitely something uh, to look out for old belt buckles I thought these uh, Jeep Willys World War II Jeeps are pretty cool cast iron stove don't know much about that I know some of those are worth some money and we got some replica samurai swords. Gotta love those. Look out for the very vintage ones. Those things go for thousands of dollars. And you never know when those are gonna pop up. But you know, more stuff. We got some sun bleached media. You know it wouldn't be a flea market madness episode without sun bleached media. Seems to be DVDs all over the place. We got some pocket knives. I usually look out for the ones that are made out of horns or kind of bone or anything like that. You know, we got your rings galore. Usually there's a ton of rings in these kind of flea markets and of course again once again tools and stuff like that if I was into restorating tools I guess this would be a good place to kind of learn more about tools and things like that but of course just stuff spread out like usual and once again sun bleached media gotta love it I'm gonna do a video I'm gonna put some DVDs out in the Sun for like a month and show you what it looks like uh, before and after remotes gotta love those those are some easy money and of course always look out for these type of little bins um, two dollars a piece is a little bit much for these but you know sometimes you might find some hidden gems and some more belt buckles look for sterling silver ones and of course some zippos there's some zippos that are worth pretty good money and of course tools on the floor it wouldn't be a California flea market with more tools on the floor as we can see here these are the things that I like to look out for these just piles of junk because you never know what you can find uh, what kind of delicious treasures could be found in these kind of things and of course these little knickknacks I love glass glass is one of the most underrated collectibles out there because a lot of people don't know about glass so you definitely want to go and look out for that and of course we had some video games and stuff so look out for those and as we can see here we got some old 1992 leaf it looks like a whole stack of these Luis Gonzalez rookie cards those are worth actually maybe a buck or two back in the day and of course you know more stuff on the floor you never know what kind of stuff you're gonna find uh, on the floor some video games and some kind of trays I always look out for the vases especially Chinese imports or Chinese exports I should say uh, some of the Chinese stuff is going for crazy money now and of course Southern California wouldn't be it without a skateboard on the floor so tools on the floor skateboards on the floor gotta love it I saw this actually this uh, VFW hat and I almost bought this and uh, I didn't even ask the price on it and I I'm pretty sure they wanted way too much but it had a lot of really cool pins and stuff so I'm kind of this is one of the things that I'm kind of regretting not uh, going and, and asking for the price on that and of course you just know you know more table stuff some badges pins and buttons and uh, watch, look out for fake silver coins. These are fake silver coins. You see the rust on them? That usually means that they're fake. And of course, Beanie Babies. I'm going to put a link up to my Beanie Baby video that's doing very well up here in the top corner. Definitely go and check that out. And of course, this was a cool little table here with a bunch of trains. Uh, I used to be into Z-scale trains when I was younger. And uh, usually the smaller, for me, the better. It's really good money, the smaller the train, except for HO scale which is 157th by the way some more coca-cola we got a general lee i haven't seen one of those in a long time dukes of hazard shout out totally 80s and some more knickknack filigree kind of stuff and uh, this this table actually had some really cool coca-cola 
collectibles. Coca-Cola collectibles are always timeless. There's always collectors out there, so look out for that. You know, more cookware, crock pots, and differently bins of toys and plush. And sometimes you can find some really good plushes in these. These were a dollar each. And uh, I didn't find anything. And some more basically, you know, Chinese exports and kind of just really kind of fun, uh, just different statues and things and of course I, I stay away from these kind of collectible tables when you see someone like this that has a bunch of collectibles on there they're usually going to mean you know there's not going to be any deals or anything that you're going to find there's a lot of savvy buyers here and of course cameras we're going to do a camera video at some point uh, so when you see one of these tables of cameras you basically know how to extract value from that I thought these little dioramas were actually really cool I used to do models back in the day and I can appreciate you know stuff like this uh, they weren't like super amazing but uh, they were really cool to see and of course you know some action figures and dolls and stuff like that all scattered about that Lego set right there I should have asked how much that was this is all I'm going to show you if you ever see something like this just a bunch of crap piled up and just dumped out look through this stuff especially if you know about toys and cars and things you never know what you're going to find in these little things and uh you know, there was nothing found in there. Uh, this was pretty cool, a whole stack of license plates. They wanted $10 each for these. I'm not sure if that's even a good value. Uh, they were three for 25. Of course, old lanterns, old gas lanterns. These things were beat up though. So, you know, I usually try to look for the ones that are in really good condition and then I'll ask the price. If they're all beat up, forget it. You know, more art. The number one thing you're gonna find out there, especially money wise, you know, the million dollar thing you're gonna find at a garage sale or a flea market is gonna be uh, our, of course, Trump trolls <laughs> that was so hot like two years ago. Uh, we got some more Blu-rays, DVDs, video games. Uh, they just wanted way too much for this stuff. And it wasn't even worth buying. Some autograph Barbie things I thought were pretty cool. And some more pottery, plates, cookware, dishware. Uh, I'm starting to get really into this. I thought this was really cool. This uh, hand-gilded cabinet here. I thought this was really awesome. I didn't ask the price on this. I'm sure they wanted a crazy amount of money, but... Uh, it wasn't vintage. It was something that was just done recently, but I thought this was probably one of the coolest pieces. Uh, and of course, you know, more art, uh, DVDs and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. So yeah, another disappointing trip to the flea market. And that's to be expected for Southern California flea markets for the most part. A lot of the sellers are very savvy about what they have. And a lot of the buyers are come early to scoop up you know all the things that you know people might have missed now if you want to buy something to make a five dollar or ten dollar profit you can find tons of that stuff here for sure for me I've kind of evolved in my picking where I'm looking for stuff that's you know in the fifty dollar on up profit range I don't want to mess with little knickknacks and stuff I'm actually looking legitimately for treasures you know whether it be uh, pottery someone missed, art someone missed, some glassware someone missed because a lot of that stuff is things that you can find and it's worth a lot of money and a lot of people don't know about little side niches and things like that that you can't just scan with a barcode or look up something that's a name on a box or a book. You know, I look for the stuff that you actually have to know about the particular thing and know that it's worth something and a lot of you know makers marks on potteries like that there's glassware that's like that uh, there's Chinese import stuff is huge right now a lot of people don't even know about that whole niche that watch these videos and so there's a lot of different things that you can look for at a flea market like I said I was skunked out again I knew coming you know to this day that it was basically gonna happen again and uh, you just never know when you're going to find that hidden treasure in these kind of things. So, uh, like I said, we'll be back next week, and we'll see if we can do this all over again. Uh, if you did see something in the previous sh uh, videos showing the different things, uh, let me know if I missed something. There was lots of video games here today, of course. You know, they're all collectors and sellers, so you're not going to get, you know, stuff pennies on the dollar. They're going to want eBay or below prices, so uh, there's that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely click the like button, subscribe if you want to learn more about how to sell on eBay and the different things to look out for. Uh, once again, I'm Chris, and I'll see you next time. Take care.
What she know about rocking the wolf on your noggin? What she knowin' about wearing a bird box? Skin, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm searching right through that luggage. One man's trash, that's another man's fucking granddad. We're donating 